What's going on guys? I hope you are all doing wonderful. Today we are going to unbox and go over the specs of the new, well mostly new, it's probably a month old now, uh, S20 Ultra 5G from Samsung and uh, we'll just get right into it. So first of all, let's uh, open this bad boy up. And as always with the Samsungs, or since some of you may not have a Samsung, inside the top of the lid, you always get this extra little package here. It will have your uh, SIM card tool in there, which apparently fell out. And it gives you all of your Samsung paperwork and basically all your stuff, how to transfer your information using some of the Samsung software in there so that is available to you in the lid we're going to tuck that in the lid you have a nice little flap here for whatever reason um, then you have the phone itself we're going to take this out and just set it to the side for a moment all right so in the box along with the phone obviously you will get a uh, wall adapter this is samsung super fast charging uh, I want to say it's 25 watts, if, if memory serves me right, and we'll break the screen in the process. So, um, we do have that 25 watt uh, wall charger there. You also, in the box, get some AKG wired earbuds. These do sound really good. If you don't have any earbuds or don't want to spend any money, these are a decent set of earbuds um, coming with the phone. I mean, I would say if you were buying them in a the store, they're probably like a $25, $30 set of earbuds, quality-wise, for a wire that's really not bad. Then you also, in the box, obviously get your USB charging cable to go with your um, wall adapter. Now, one thing I did notice about the new Samsung phones going forward, it looks like it's USB-C to USB-C, and they do not have the, uh, it's using the 3.1 standard, not the uh, 3.0 standard anymore. So just be aware of that. Uh, so you don't even, it doesn't even look like you get the, uh, yeah, they don't even include an adapter anymore. You used to get like a little adapter but I guess they got rid of that. Anyway, whatever. So that is that, and we're gonna set the box and all that to the side. That's what's in the box. Let's look at why we would be watching the video. This is the S20 uh, Ultra 5G. I lost my train of thought there for a moment. It does have uh, well, let's go over the specs for a moment. So this phone has a uh, processor wise is the Qualcomm Snapdragon 865 processor. It's got a 6.9 inch 3200 by 1400 pixels is the resolution at a 511 PPI. It is the dynamic AMOLED Infinity O screen with 120 Hertz refresh rate. Yes, 120 Hertz. Double what anything Samsung has ever done. And uh, as a previous owner of a OnePlus 7 Pro, the 90 Hertz was amazing. So this 120 Hertz, um, I'm looking forward to getting into that. So you have that. It is running Android 10.0 with the Samsung UI 2.0 interface over it. 12 gigabyte of low power DDR5 RAM on the 128 gigabyte model. Now, if you do get the 512 gigabyte model, you do have an available 16 gigabyte of RAM available to you with the 512 gigabyte model. They come in two variants, 128 gigabyte storage, 12 gigabyte RAM, or 512 gigabyte storage, 16 gigabyte of RAM. Um, 
it also is featuring uh, UFS 3.0 for the file transfer system. So it's very fast in that regard. It's the latest out there. Um, so again, storage 128 or 512. One of the nice things about that is this does have an SD card slot right there in your SIM tray where it would come out where your SIM card is and you can add up to one terabyte of additional storage into that. So what that means for me is I, I would never need that much so I would opt the S, that's why I bought the 128 gigabyte model. I'll put a you know, 256 or 512 gigabyte memory card in there and call it a day and we'll be done with it. So plenty of storage on either model. That's not something you ever need to worry about and 12 gigabyte of RAM is plenty. So for the camera sensors on the back here, you've got a 48 megapixel main camera and you also have a 3.5 telephoto with 10 times optical hybrid zoom. You, oh, I said that all wrong, my bad guys. It's 48 megapixel rear camera that is a telephoto lens with 10 times opt optical hybrid zoom. You also have a 108 megapixel 1.8 wide angle camera and you have a 12 megapixel ultra wide camera, camera at 120 degrees field of view. Uh, that's that's pretty that's pretty wide out there and a depth depth vision camera um, is 40 megapixels and you also have a uh, 40 megapixel front facing camera as far as connectivity on this phone for Wi-Fi you have 802.11 a b g n a c and a x so this also does have the latest a x wireless wi-fi 6 radio built into it at both 2.4 and 5 gigahertz it's featuring bluetooth 5.0 low energy ant plus gps galeo glonaz and i always screw this up but it's uh biudo as far as positioning and of course nfc as far as sensors in this model, you have accelerometer, barometer, ultrasonic fingerprint sensor, gyro sensor, geomagnetic sensor, hall sensor, proximity sensor, RGB light sensor. So you've got a ton of sensors in here. And when we get into the actual review of the phone, um, you know, we'll go over what some of those do. Um, dust and water resistance, it is an IP68 rating, massive 5,000 milliamp non-removable battery with fast wireless charging and power share available so if you have this device and it's running you know your main device and someone else needs to charge you can set them back like that and it will charge the device that needs charge so nice feature um, you also the colors that this comes in are cosmic gray and cosmic black I have the cosmic black um, that's what was available to me and the dimensions are 166.9 millimeters by 76 millimeters by 8.8 .8 millimeters and this weighs in at 222 grams. So it is a heavy phone. I will tell you that this thing has got some heft to it. Um, this, I don't even remember, this is a work phone. Um, this phone with the OtterBox case is probably still less than this phone. It's hefty. For me personally, um, when I see heft in that, it signifies a good build quality, as Samsung always does, but that's what you're looking with, guys. So if you have any questions about this phone or would like to see something else in the future, put it in the comments below. Do me a favor. Like, share, and subscribe to the video. That way we can continue to make uh, these type of videos where these are very expensive. Um, also, we are nearing the future of monetization, which is pretty awesome. So thank you for all that support. I cannot wait. Uh, I can't wait to actually be able to put more into the channel as far as uh, videos go and video material and video editing. All that will be coming forth uh, with the monetization of the channel. Um, hopefully we can get a couple sponsorships and whatever. That would be awesome. 
So that being said, guys, you guys are the best part of this channel. I love each and every one of you. Even those of you that give me a hard time because I forgot to turn on the wind filter when I on my last video. But I love you all nonetheless. So have a great day. Stay safe out there in this uh, wonderful pandemic. And put any questions that you have below. And as always, I will get back to you usually within the same day. Sometimes it takes me a day or two, but most of the time I get back to everyone within a few hours. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being the best part of the channel. And I love you guys. We'll see you the next time.